you want to subscribe because we're family oriented, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we love each other, right? <sighs> Don't touch me. <laughs> 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 anyway, <let's> stop. <laughs> oh my god, okay, hold on, I gotta do it over again. Jellos, welcome back to our mukbang. I'm Easter. And I'm Yanga, obviously. And today we're having Starbucks um, breakfast. So I can pull up the rest. I don't know why I didn't pull it up. Um, I have some chocolate dipped cookies. Um, and then I have a double smoked bacon egg sandwich. And then um, a turkey pesto panini. And I forgot what this is. That's a, it's all there. It's a sausage cheddar. Didn't have a biscuit sandwich. thing, huh? Cause no. my thing was supposed to come on a biscuit. Yeah, I didn't. Didn't have biscuit. I don't like English muffins. <laughs> and, uh, and then I got a mango dragon fruit refresher with no ice because you know every time I say light on the ice, they don't care. They just still fill it up with ice. And then I got um, and I got tomato mozzarella. Uh, panini and um, grande pineapple match drinks this is the first time I ordered this Matcha. so yeah so I don't know how it tastes um, and then oh and then I got shortbread cookies that broke we're gonna take a couple bites in because um, I know we're both, probably both hungry and then we're gonna talk about 90 Day Fiance, the recent episode that happened on Sunday. But yeah, we're going to take a couple bites and then we'll get into the episode. How's everyone doing? And then I'm going to eat my sandwich with a Dorito chips. I hope everybody's doing good. With all the craziness that's happening right now. Yeah, I'm starting off with the sweets first. I hope um, everybody is safe and healthy and um, that you guys are good. Have you watched anything new today? Maybe skimpy on the basil pesto. They put way more, um, what's this, sun, sun dried tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Is this sun dried tomatoes? Yeah. Oh. Or you know, is it bell peppers? Yeah, it's bell peppers. Mm. Go ahead. She's like, yeah, yeah. What's up, Yama? What are you? How do you like it? Mm -hmm. it, tastes, it tastes good. I can't really explain the taste. 
It's not bad. Does it taste like green tea? No, you don't really taste the green tea in there. You taste a little bit of the pineapple. It's such a pretty color. Hey, have some. Have some. Drink! Do you have the yellow in them? Crazy. Oh, what is wrong with you? Nothing. So today, we're going to be discussing the latest episode of 90 Day Fiance. Is it ending soon? Yeah, because a new episode, new season is going to start. <sighs> so their season, like, um... They'll end one season and then bring another season. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. I like that they do that. I don't. I don't like waiting. They went back to Ed and Rosemary. I don't know why, but this episode, Ed um, was trying to rebuild his relationship with his daughter. I guess um, when he was dating Rosemary. He told his daughter about um, dating a Filipino or dating someone online and um, his daughter didn't really like the idea um, and, and the fact that she's 20, I think 26, Rosemary is like around 20 years old and his daughter's 29. Um, so she was like, so it's like you're dating me, basically an age, you know, comparison, but Way younger than her. You said uh, Rosemary is 20? I think like she's 23 or something. And, and the daughter is 29. 29? Yeah. That's like a um, girl. Yeah. That's what she was mainly upset because the age. And then she was like, what are you doing? Like, you're my dad. Um, why don't you get somebody like around your age? And she, she was just like, she was upset. It could, and then it felt like he was blowing her off. Like, he really didn't need to listen to what she had to say. Um, and then when they, him and Rosemary didn't work out, she was just like, I told you. Um, but it just seemed like you were just telling me F you. And that's what she got upset. Um, but they made up. They're good now. So that's a good thing that, you know, your father-daughter relationship is mended. Um, he's still, he's still, I, I don't know how to say any other difference. And then uh, we have Osman and Baby Lisa. Baby girl, baby love. Yeah, whatever. Say baby Lisa, like she a baby. Um, but so after she uh, met her his other brother, and then that didn't go well. So he went up and was trying to you know calm her down or see what's going on. And I thought he was gonna be like, no, we we can't get married. It's not gonna work out because he kept on telling his brothers like. All we've been doing is arguing since so she came here, and he was like, "It's like she wants to control me." And um, but when he we went into the room, she was like, "I love you, and I know that you're a celebrity in Nigeria, but I don't, I don't love you because you're a celebrity. I love you because you're you, and I want to be with you." And she was like, "I think we could overcome this, um, this incident, or like overcome what we're." have to deal with and she was like the question is do you still want to marry me and he said yeah so they're getting married hopefully or supposedly um but yeah he forgave her i don't know where this is going and she forgave him for the text yeah and then oh Stephanie and Erica, they're the lesbian couple. She finally told her mom. Um, so they went to dinner and she was like, I have to tell her 
when she told her mom that she was bi, um, her mom was saying, I think you're confused. And she was like, what? And she was like, all your past, you know, relationship has been toxic. And I think you're just, you're confused. And, you know, you just got out of a, a toxic relationship. And she was like, I'm not confused. This is who I am. She was like, I'm bi. And Erica was the person I was dating. It didn't work out. And she was like, I just wanted to tell you. And so they hug. Um, and the mom just, you know, there's, I mean, nothing she could do. She... It doesn't seem like she was happy when Stephanie told her, but again, you know, they're good. Um, the mom was like, well, all I, you know, all I do is care for you and, you know, pray that you're happy. And she was like, I just, I think you need time and that you don't know what you really want. But it's a good thing that she told her. How old is Stephanie? I think Stephanie is like 30s. Mid thirties, um, um, but yeah, that was good that this she finally told him, and then, so Jeffrey and Varsi, I'm butchering her name, the one from Russia. She <clears throat> totally butchered that name. Yes, I did. I'm so sorry. Butchering names left and right. She okay. called Easter the butcher. Okay, thank you. Um, so. Anyways, it went back to their, um, at the restaurant where they're kicking it with his friends and she wanted to talk to Marianne. Marianne is Jeffrey's, uh, her name is Mary. Mary. Yeah. It's, what? um, her, his friend, their close friend, but she wanted to talk to her and, um, and she wanted to know why she came back to, um, to where they're kicking it. And she was like. I don't want you to hang around with him because she he doesn't love you. Who um, said that? V, v said yeah, that. Yeah, V said that to Mary. And so that she didn't want her to kick it with Jeffrey because um, she was like, because he doesn't love you. So she that you know she just needs to leave him alone. Because she was like, if you want Jeffrey happy, then you will leave us alone and stay away. And then she told Jeffrey that. Um, you know, I don't want you to hang around with any pretty girls that I should be your only friend or, you know, a pretty girl that's, I should be your only pretty friend. Um, she, she was like, cause you are my man. And he was like, oh, so now I'm your man. And she was like, yes. And then he was like, okay. But so and when they interviewed her by herself, she was saying, if he doesn't propose or if there's no proposal, then she doesn't think it's going to happen. And then the last couple is David and Lana. <clears throat> um, David is about to go home soon. And so he told Lana when he was leaving. And so she's been busy. She said that she's um, watching her nephew. And so she didn't have time even just to say goodbye to him. Um, but he bought her a phone. And he says we could call anytime we want to. And I guess the website that they met on, um, it has a translation on the website. But he doesn't want to, you know, continue to use the website. He wants to get off. He was like, I give you a phone. So, and that has a translation on the phone. Um, and so she agreed that she's going to get off the website. And then the investigator that he did fire, he emailed him and showed him the different website that she was on. And then different profile um, and showed the picture that was on the profile. It's. So in the picture, it's her, which he confirmed that was her. He's still trying to still marry her. I don't know if that's going to happen, but he's going back home and she has the phone. And when he called her to say goodbye, she didn't answer and he left her a voicemail. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but yeah, that was it. That was on the couples that are on. <clears throat> But I'm glad Stephanie told her mom. I am too, but the mom, you telling your daughter that she don't know what she wants and she's already 30 years old? Yeah. What'd you do? Did you shelter her? Did you not allow her to f figure out what she wanted? Or you're just in denial because you're, your daughter's telling you that she likes guys and girls. So she's bi, she's not just, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, or unless um, Stephanie, I mean, because Stephanie was hiding it from the mom. So maybe the mom's just like thinking it's out of the blue. Yeah. So random, you know. Um, <clears throat> Lisa and Usman, they did, I don't even care about them anymore. I feel like he's trying to get into the United States and she's just super desperate. So she could talk all all big and bad and be like, I'm not gonna stand for it, but she gon' she's desperate. She wants to bring home a handsome chocolate man. And she, you know, he's young too. She Crazy. just want she wants to she probably wants him to be like a trophy <clears throat> like a, a a trophy husband. David and Lana, I don't care. He's stupid. David's stupid. Yeah. And he's going to continue to get his money taken from him. And you know what? At this point, she's not a scammer. He's just stupid. He's just an idiot. How many times does... Like, you just so... He just doesn't want to accept the fact that she's taking his money. And she didn't even answer the phone that you gave her so you could say goodbye. She didn't even answer the phone. Mm -mm. She, you're not gonna hear from her I just for a very long because, time. Like after, like say they get married, and then if they get a divorce, they're still responsible for that person for I think another three years because it's a sponsor, and the, you know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's a lot to like have that on you, like. And then, Mary, so, Rosemary wasn't even on the episode. No, I think she's, she's done. Yeah, she's done. Um, Ed, I don't care about him. <clears throat> and. Oh, yeah, I feel like Jeffrey just likes that, likes the attention <clears throat> that he's getting. I feel like Jeffrey likes the attention that he's getting. Now he has two women fighting over him. And if I was his ex. I would be like, all right, bro, do you, and then, like, leave him, you know, and not be super attached, because he's letting this, he's letting this, um, outside girl disrespect you. I don't think she's an ex, they're close friends. Oh, I thought they were exes. That's what I thought, too, but I was really more... Oh, you gave me the wrong information. Maybe you should watch it with me. Maybe you gave the wrong information. Maybe you should watch it with Maybe me. Maybe you gave the wrong information. Anyways, I don't think that's Zex. I think they're just really close friends. Well, regardless if she's his ex or if she's just a friend, he's letting V disrespect her. Well, yeah. And the history's still there. If she's a very good friend, you wouldn't, you wouldn't let your very good friend get talked down to by... Somebody that hurt you. Yeah. So, I think it's whack of him. Um, I would have done beat up the Russian girl. If she kept on... If she kept on uh, being disrespectful to me, I would have done punched her in the face. She would have went through a wall or a table. I would have brought some chairs and ladders up in there, too. Okay, wow. We had a TLC match. Hardcore <clears throat> rules, too. Anything goes. I have my kendo stick and everything ready. But, yeah. Um, wow, it seems like they're really just dragging the season now. Yeah. Like, nothing really happens. Yeah, it's just happening. like... Hmm. Well, my, my most favorite character is out of there. Rosemary. Yeah. She was the most likable person, I think. People are crazy. They'll do anything. Yeah. They'll do anything for um for what they want. They'll go to the extremes to get what they want at the end of the day. Which is good. Do you? Yeah. Do, do what you want and if you think it's going to get you what you want even more, do it. But I think people are just they're not afraid to hurt others in that process and that's where it goes wrong you shouldn't really hurt other people you know yeah and I wish karma was super real for people cause I feel like you know 
some bad things should have happened to some bad people. Where I got out of this is, date, I'm not dating, dating online is just a whole big damn hassle and you gotta do your research and it's just like a lot of money involved and people's feelings get hurt, it's just a lot. I don't think dating sites are bad. I think that the people who are on dating sites for the wrong reasons are bad. So, I think don't trust people because people will find anything to lie about. So if you need to go on a dating site to find love, if it makes it easier for you to find people, well then do that. But just make sure that you remember that not a lot of people are in it for the right reasons. They want what they want and they'll do whatever they want to get it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And if you are not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe to us and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we drop some new content, which is every single day. If you guys have been subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. We appreciate all the support, all the continuous support that you guys show us, the views, the likes, the shares. Um, it's just means so much to us and the comments oh my god i live for these comments Fire. people the yeah, comment so section is litty okay it's litty so make sure even if you're a new subscriber or if you're not subscribed yet please make sure that you make yourself heard in the comment section yes. that's what we like we live for them comments and please share this bitch out Make sure that you guys stay safe, stay healthy, um, love one another, hold people accountable because, I mean, we got to make a change. We really do got to make a change and it starts with us and then it starts with our neighbors. It's a whole cycle, you know, it's a whole cycle. So with all that being said, until the next video, peace out, bye.